All right, this is Pat Zelenka. The second season of the Pat Zelenka Show is upon us. This is episode one, and today we're going to discuss the fretboard. And hey, you're locked in the house anyway, so you've got some time. So you've played the guitar, and for a lot of you out there, you've already memorized the fretboard. But for those of you who haven't, there are a few essential truths that you have to learn. One of them is you have to memorize your fretboard. Why? Because then you can communicate with others. So if I can only speak in broken phrases, you might not understand me. But if I learn a few more words and I can complete a sentence, get it? So that's the same thing here. The fretboard is not a frightening thing. It's actually, it seems so vast. The fretboard, an endless wave of musical notes and confusion for so, so many people. But really, it's not that complicated. It is, seems very vast, but it's actually quite short. Notes repeat themselves. And in this episode, we're going to discuss how to learn a few essential uh, musical principles that are not Juilliard level, but they will get you started on an exploration, I hope, that never ends of the guitar fretboard. So, the first point to learn is that there are only seven notes in music. Seven. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Te. Do, what's the eighth note? The eighth note is the rip repetition of the first note. So if it's A through G, and you want to get to A again, that's your eighth note, which is the octave. Those are eight. So with that in mind, think that those notes simply repeat themselves over and over again on the fretboard, and it never ceases to be. But you say, if there's only seven notes, why are there so many frets? Well, one, they repeat themselves, as we mentioned earlier. And another thing is, there are notes called incidentals. They are sharps and flats. A sharp is when we go up the fretboard, and a flat is when we go down. Thusly, a note that is in between two whole notes can be a sharp when you go up, and a flat when you go down. The easiest way to differentiate this and break up those inc incidentals, be they flats or sharps, is to know that there are only two pairs of notes that do not have a sharp or a flat in between. They are E and F, and they are B and C. All other notes have a sharp or flat in between. Knowing that that's how the sharps and flats, the incidentals, break up the only seven notes there are in the world, then we know this. If you know that this is your low E string, and you know that there's no sharp between E and F, the next note must be F on the first fret. Then a sharp, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, a sharp, B, well, there's no sharp or flat between B and C, C. Then there's going to be a C sharp, a D, a D sharp, and an E. So what we learn from that is that there are only these natural or standard notes. E, F, G, A, B, C, D, 
E8. That's your octave. So, let's get down to business. So, knowing what we've learned earlier, there are seven notes in music. The eighth note is a repeat of the first note. Sharps and flats are called incidentals. Sharps occur when we go in an upward motion towards the top of the neck. And flats are when we go back down towards the headstock. And there are no sharps or flats between E and F and B and C. With that as our knowledge, the next thing that we should learn are the natural notes of the first three frets. So let's learn the natural notes of the first three frets. E, F, G, so open, one, three, open, two, three, open, two, three, open, two, open, one, three, open, one, three. Now let's call off the notes. We know that it's zero, one, three, zero, two, three, zero, two, three, zero, two. Zero, one, three, zero, two, three, zero, two, three, zero, two. E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. Then the two top strings. Zero, one, three, zero, one, three. Zero, one, three, zero, one, three. Now let's name the notes. B, C, D, E, F, G. Now let's try that again, naming only the notes. E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Not exactly a scale, but now you know all the natural notes of the first three frets. So it follows that all the other notes that you didn't press down are sharps or flats, depending on whether you're going up or down. Now one thing you may have noticed as we're doing this is that there's a low E and a high E, as we mentioned earlier. So E, F, G, A, B, C, D, and E. It's meaning that all the notes that are here are the same here. And everything repeats itself after that as we go up. Get it? So again, to cover what we've learned in today's episode, there are seven notes in music. When they repeat, that next note, number eight, is an octave. So A to A, B to B, C to C, D to D, get it? We've learned that there are sharps and flats, which we call incidentals. Sharps being ascending, and flats being the same note going down. And we've learned the natural notes to the first three frets of the guitar. And we've also learned that only two sets of notes do not have a sharp or a flat. They are E and F and B and C. And never shall anything change. <laughs> this is the forever rules of playing on the fretboard. For good measure, let's go over the natural notes of the first three frets one more time before we end. E, F, G. So zero, one, three. A, B, C. 
zero, two, three, D, E, F, zero, two, three, G, A, zero, two, B, C, D, zero, one, three, and E, F, G, zero, one, three. If you have any questions or you'd like to understand this maybe a little bit further, that's cool. Ask me in the comments below and I'd be happy to. Also, look below. You'll see links for various businesses right now during the coronavirus that are, uh, well, shipping and uh, who are small stores that really could use your help. Um, if you're a small independent music retailer and you'd like to have your link included below, let me know and uh, send it to me. I'll surely include it down there. If you're able to ship strings, picks, or anything to people in this time, it's business. And uh, we should all be out there supporting independent retailers. The bigger retailers, they'll make it. Um, the smaller retails, retailers, I should say, not so much. So just, you know, your normal brick and mortars, man, they really need you. And uh, they could use a pick me up for sure. Uh, go to their Facebook pages and their websites. Let them know you care. And we'll see you next time on the Pat Zelenka Show.